This is a pretty cool question which talks about gas cycles. You see a beautiful graph there. But let's start off with the definition. What is meant by the internal energy of a system? When you see internal energy, you should remember that internal energy is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. And all these are, are random distributions of kinetic energy and potential energy because the particles are moving at random. So let's write that down in a sentence. There, so something like that. Uh, sum of kinetic and potential energy. Oh, but you must mention uh, uh, of a particle. So of all the particles and molecules in the system. I know the question says of a system, but you want to say of molecules and particles inside the system. So you want to be more specific, like, just in case, because sometimes they are very picky about molecules and particles. So although here says of system, you need to say molecules and particles inside the system. So two marks. One comes from you talking about sum of kinetic and potential energy. Sometimes you give marks for molecules and particles. The other one mark here is talking about random distribution or random motion. So maybe you can either write that random distribution or you add on at the end it, energy of molecules and particles in random motion. <coughs> so that is the other mark. Lah, the randomness of all these particles that contribute to the internal energy. Okay, we're going to skip part one. Go to part two first. On the figure, complete the energy changes for gas during all these stages of the cycle. Five marks! Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun, fun, fun. So you have this diagram of the gas cycle. Hmm. You start off at P. You go to Q, go to R, and come back at P. So there are kind of changes in pressure, changes in volume, changes at temperature as well. Wow, what are we supposed to do? Let's see. So they tell you all the information. Um... Uh, changes at each state, heat goes in, heat goes out, but there's this table they want us to complete. This table is your UQW table. So for each state, you have to find the thermal energy transfer, the Q, the work done, W, and the increase in thermal uh, internal energy, which is delta U. Okay. So if we look at this, we have to look at each stage to complete the table. So let's look at the first one, P to Q. Thermal energy is transferred. What's the work done on the gas? P to Q, ah. Okay, so we're looking at this part. We go from here up to here. This one. Work done on gas. Is there any work done? Is there a change in volume? No change in volume, hence no work done. So straight away, you can come here and you can write zero joules and if you want to write some reasoning you can say here no change in volume a bit small but you can make a little note there to remind yourself why you say zero from there if you know 97 and you know zero you can actually calculate the internal energy because internal energy is calculated from let me write it, write it down here change in internal energy is calculated from heat added or removed plus work done. So you already plus 97, that means your internal energy will increase by 97 joules. So just write 97. Huh? This one, if you wrote this, you can give yourself an A1 mark. Let's move on. Q to R, no thermal energy transfer, but there is work done. So yeah, negative means what? Huh? Negative means your gas is expanding. So volume is increasing. So let's look at Q to R. So that is now this section. Volume increasing, pressure changing. Hmm. So what is the change in internal energy? Well, you have two values here. So you know, 0 minus 42.5 should be minus 42.5 also. This one will get you another mark. A1. Oh, here also A1. Wow, very nice. Okay, last one. From R to P. So this one, well, you need a bit more thinking. R to P. So you have gone full cycle, you have come back. This is what we call a cyclic, cyclic or cyclic cycle. Cycle. Cyclic process. Okay, you go, you change, but you come back to the original point. Now this cyclic process has a very important clue, and that is, if you are back to the original, so the change in internal energy from P to Q to R to S should be zero. Because you come back there, ma. And that also tells me the temperature change should be zero. You start off at 280, 
you should end at 2 AD. Okay, so these two go hand in hand because, you know, U equals to 3 over 2 N K T. So make sure they are hand in hand. There's no change in U means there's no change in T. And that's because you've gone one full cycle and you are back at the beginning, the initial state of gas. Now, with that in mind, that means I can say that the increase in internal energy should be zero. No change. You have go, come back to the same temperature, should have no change. So you can write some reasoning here. Lah. So change in temperature is zero. Change in internal energy should be zero also because it is cyclic or cyclic. You're coming back to your original state of gas. So it should be zero. Lah, okay. But what is the thermal energy transfer to gas? Ah, this is where you can do some maths. Lah. So U, U equals to Q plus W, which is positive 37. So what should be Q? Hmm. Oi, sorry, I just realized one error. Delta U should be zero. When I say delta U should be zero, it means the overall change in energy from beginning to the end should be zero. So from the beginning, oh, let me label this out again. A little error there. You start off, let's say, at a certain value of u. You increase by 97. How I know? Man, this first part here is 97. Then your internal energy decreased by 42. So minus 42.5. So in the last part, I should get back to my original u lah, because cyclic ma, from beginning to end, it should be that. So taking that into account, hence this last part should decrease by a certain amount, which is, you take 97 and do some maths there, should be 54.5. You check and see, correct or not, that diagram? Okay, you start off at a certain state in the beginning. You go increase to 97, decrease. So this last stage, you should go back to original so that your conditions here, your cyclic conditions will be fulfilled. Okay, so this one, this is looking at the whole cycle. Lah, the whole cycle. Whole cycle. It should be negative 54.5. There we go. This one, we're going to use this mark right here. Some of you may argue and say, Miss, actually I got an idea. What if we use this equation, 3 over 2 nkt? Will this work? The answer to you is, yes, it would work. But in this question, it's a bit risky. Because if you check the mark scheme, they didn't account for this, this um, method. Because if you want to use this method to find your internal energy, you have to read values from the graph, you have to find some other calculations, and the graph may not be exact. So best is, if you can, think of uh, first law of thermodynamics, but you could use this to check your answer, lah, whether it should be negative or positive. Check answer only, ah, but don't use it for actual calculation. Okay, so that is the kinetic theory part. Okay, last one, thermal energy. Oh, so we can change this. My bad. So the Q should be negative 54.5. Sorry, U should be negative 54.5, which will give you a Q of negative 91.5. This one is your final answer. Okay, so reminder, most of them, you can just plus minus plus minus. The last one over there, this one, you have to think of the whole cycle. You're back to the start. You should be at the same thermal energy as the start. So you consider the whole cycle. Lah. I highlight this way. Consider the whole thing. Okay, so that's how we can think about cyclic processes. Try out a few more questions that have graphs like this. Uh, it will help you a lot. Now we go to part one. We already talked about it a little bit. State the total change, total change in internal energy during the complete cycle. Ah, this is what we're talking about. So looking at the complete cycle, you start there. You go up here, you go down there, and you go back to the original state. What should be the change in internal energy? We said is zero. Ne? Delta U P Q R S is zero. Mm. So we can say no change in internal energy as the first thing. Then you must also say because why? Better to explain my state and explain. So state no change. Explain why? Because this is where you can talk about temperature. So you say the final temperature is the same. Oh? So final temperature is same as the 
initial temperature. Okay, so your gas is back to the original state it started off with. That is this kinetic theory NKT, where you can look at how U and T are related. Or I should say more specifically, delta U and delta T. Mm. So here, one mark comes to no change. One mark goes to the other one. Where you give a reason when you talk about final and initial temperature, lah, same as. Okay, so just B1 and B1. But that is all for this question. This first thing about, you know, finding these cyclic cycles and completing tables like this. There are a few questions like this. But make sure you know why you're using certain values and how to calculate them. Okay, so that is all for this question. I will see you in the next one.